Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. I've put a list in the description below of everything you'll need along with all the usual links. There's Facebook and Instagram and there's my Etsy shop where I sell written tutorials if you'd like to have a look at those. To make this pendant you'll need a 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and I've cut 5 lengths at 11 inches, that's 28 centimetres. You'll need 0.315mm weaving wire, which is 28 gauge. You'll need about 300 centimetres. I've wound mine onto a bobbin. If you don't have a bobbin, you can just cut lengths as you go. This is a Bobby's bobbin by Beadsmith. This just makes the longer lengths of weaving wire easy to handle while you're working. Going to need two three millimeter beads, two four millimeter beads, a jump ring, um, any size jump ring will do really. Mine is eight millimeter outside measurement, and you'll need a bead. Mine is eight millimeters. You can use a slightly large bead if you want to. Just remember to do a few extra weaves, maybe a little extra wire. There is quite a bit of wire left for handling, so you'll be all right. You probably won't have to handle any wire going on a bit now in Thai. So two awls I've got are using, I'm using Tronics. Tools, you can use any tools you like obviously. Um, pliers, round nose pliers, wire cutters, nylon pliers. And this tutorial is a remake of an old video. So let's get started. So take all five wires and we're going to start weaving four inches from the beginning of those wires, that's 10 centimetres. So take your weaving wire and we'll start with three wraps around the bottom wire. This first weave is just to hold all the wires together nicely. So we're going to go over the second wire. So we've wrapped once around the bottom two. We're going to come up between those two wires. Then we go over the third wire, so we've wrapped around the middle two, middle two, the second and third, and we come up between those two. Then we go over the fourth wire, so we're just wrapping around two wires and then coming up between. And then we go over the top, so we've wrapped once around the top two wires come up between those two. So now we're going to go around all the wires on the way back down. So we wrap around the top one. My wires are all crossing over each other. And we wrap around that fourth wire. Come up between the second and third and wrap around the third wire. Come up between the bottom two and wrap around the second wire. Then wrap around the bottom wire. So that's one repeat of our weave. Push your weave together as you go and repeat that weave twice more. So two wraps around each wire on the way up and then a single wrap around each wire on the way down. So I've done three repeats of that weave, cut my tail end off from the beginning there. Now we need to separate these top wires, so pull your two outer wires out, so we've got the middle wire remaining straight, and we're going to work across these bottom two wires. So we'll wrap three times around the bottom wire, and then three times around both wires. And we'll repeat that for a total of 10 repeats. So I've done 10 repeats of that weave. I'm going to cut the weaving wire, leaving just a little bit still attached in case I want to add more weaves. And we're going to turn over and we're going to do the same weave on these two wires here. So take your weaving wire and we've got three wraps around the bottom wire. and three wraps around both wires. And we'll do 10 repeats on this side as well. 
So I've done 10 repeats on this side. Cut that in there. And now we're going to shape these weaves. So find your 8mm bead, your large one, pop it on that middle wire. I'm going to leave a little gap, so I we'll want a little gap at both sides of the bead if we can. And we're going to scoop this weave around to go around the bead like that. And that's the kind of space that you want above and below your bead, so you've got plenty of room to work with. Same for the other side. Compress all your weaves together as well. We'll make the weave tidier when you bend it, if your weave's nice and compressed together. So we pull that in the same. And then bend that up as well. So now you've got this. So now we're going to do that weave across all the wires, <clears throat> the same as we did on this side. So that wire, I didn't need to add any more repeats, so I'm going to cut that wire there, that's the shorter one. If your bead is larger or smaller than mine, you'll need to adjust the amount of weave repeats. So I'm going to do this weave all across all three wires, and again it's a weave just to hold everything together. You won't see it when it's done, so you can do whatever weave you want, really. I'm going to do the same weave as we did earlier. So I'll go around the bottom two, come up between. I'll go around the next two and come up between. Go around the next two, come up between. Try not to pull your wires too close together as you're working to. Go around the top two. And then come up between those two. So we've gone up around two wires all the way up. Why does that keep going out of focus? And then we'll go around one wire all the way back down. So I'm going around the top one. And I'm going around the next one, and I'll go around each wire, all the way back down to the bottom, and then you've got to push it together, but you want to try and push it down, so it comes right down to the weaves if you can. And then we'll do another two repeats of that big weave across all the wires. So I've done those three repeats there and keep pushing it together as you go. So now looking at your top wires, you're going to take two wires and bend them down. And we're going to take one left wire and bend that down. So we've got two wires standing up. Now take your weaving wire and weaving across those two middle wires. We're going to go three wraps around the bottom wire. Three wraps around both wires. So we're doing the same weave as earlier. And we're going to do that seven times. So there I've done seven repeats of that weave. Holding this big weave with your thumb, we're going to bend that top weave we've just done over to the right. And then we're going to scoop it over to the left. So we're going to bend it all the way over into a little loop. Like that.
Then we're going to take the next wire to the right and we're going to do the same to that one. We're going to scoop that one over to follow so it comes just below the weave but then it sits next to I did this weaving wire out the way so it comes down to sit next to those weave wires like that and then we're going to weave across these three wires so we'll go twice around the bottom two come up between those bottom two And then we go twice around the top two, coming up underneath that bottom wire. Right, so I've managed to get that in focus. So we've got two wraps around the bottom two wires, and then two wraps around the top two wires. And we're going to repeat that, so we've got a total of 18 repeats. So I've done 18 repeats of that weave and I'm going to finish with another two wraps around the bottom two and three wraps around the bottom wire and keep pushing your wire together to keep it all nice and tidy. We're going to cut that wire there. So now take your top weave and we're going to bend it around so it goes around the bead and it just reaches that wire that the bead's on, the bead wire. And take these wires now and take them around that bead wire. Now as you do this you're going to bend this weave so try and just hold it a little so you don't bend it too much misshape it too much and then take those wires under that bead wire and try and pull it back down so it just meets there We've got that shape so now we're going to do the same as what we've done here at this end I've just straightened those two wires up out of the way so now we're going to separate these wires as we did for the other side so we take these two we bend them over at the way for now and then we take the one on the other side and run that down out the way and we've got these two middle wires that we're going to work on So take your weaving wire and we're going to wrap seven times around the bottom wire. Seven times. It's seven repeats, isn't it? So we're going to do seven repeats of that little weave. So we're going to wrap three times around the bottom wire. Don't listen to me. And then we're going to go three times around both wires and then we're going to make sure we've got seven repeats in total of that weave. Seven repeats, cut that weaving wire there, 
and always remember to push down any sharp bits as we did for the other side we bend that weave over hard to do it in such a tight space bring it round need to flatten that again and then we take this next wire and bend that around to follow the weave and we want it to come down a little bit lower and then join the wires so I want those wires to come like that and then this one has to meet those wires and then we weave across all three so now we do two wraps around the bottom two wires come up between those two and go two wraps around the top wires and we want a total of 18 repeats of that weave two wraps around the bottom two two wraps around the top two and keep pushing your weave together as you go so I've done 18 repeats wrap twice around the bottom two wires and then three times around that bottom wire to finish off that weave. Keep pushing your weave together. We're going to cut that wire. Sharp, flatten down any sharp bits. So now take that weave and we're going to carefully bend it around as we did for the other one so it reaches that bead wire and then we're going to put those wires through that gap so that it goes under the bead wire so pull the weave away a little bit and we're going to bend these wires around and post them underneath that bead wire and then pull it through trying not to misshape everything and keep pulling it through until the weave reaches that wire there and then bend your wires up to hold it so I've pulled it through I've got it the shape I want it and I'm just straightening these wires a bit that have come through because I did bend them quite a lot so that's what we've got so far So now we're going to turn to the back and just lose a few of these wires and we're going to take the inner one I'm going to cut it quite short and we're going to wrap it around that bead wire this will help hold that weave in place So I've curled it around with round nose pliers and I'm just going to squeeze it tight around that wire with my standard pliers. And then I'm going to do the same for these wires here too. So the inner wire, the one that's closer to the bead on both sides, cut it very short. And then wrap it around that central bead wire. 
and squeeze it in place. So next we're going to take this wire here on this left side and we're going to scoop it around so it follows the weave like that and when it gets to here we're going to bend it around this way and we're going to add a four millimeter bead your larger bead onto that wire and then keep bending the wire around so that bead then sits in that gap there And then scoop this wire around to follow the weave. So it goes around and does a loop this way. And then it scoops gently around to follow that weave on the inside. And then we're going to go down as we did for the other one into that gap there so this wire goes around the bead wire too so it is going to misshape it a little bit so you're going to have to hold that wire in shape as it goes around there and then when you've got it to sit how you want it to hold the front in shape and bend that wire up at the back And then turn to the other end and we're going to do the same again with this wire on this side. So bend it around to follow the weave. So it follows quite tightly. And then when it gets to that gap there, we bend it out the other way. Then you want your other four millimeter bead, the larger one. And carry on around, trying to hold that in place. And then scoop this wire to go around this side to also go around the bead. So again, we've got the same thing going on at both ends. And then we're going to post this wire through as we did just at the other end. So bend that wire and pop it through the gap so it goes below the bead wire. Same as before. So we're doing exactly the same thing on both ends. Trying to move it up as well. We're trying to match the other side as we go. And then when you're happy that that wire goes where you want it to, you're going to bend that wire up at the back. And that's what we've got so far. So next we're going to take this wire, and this is one of the back wires. We're going to take the highest one, we're going to take it over the front and bring it around to follow that wire there and then pull it around so it sits exactly next to that wire and then we're going to pop that around the bead wire as well. So we've bent that wire around sitting it next to that other bare wire and then put it around that bead wire now we're going to do the same for the other side so take this top wire which is from the back bend it over the front there and then have it follow as we just did follow this wire and 
post it through to sit in that gap. So again, that one goes over the bead wire too. So I did that with the other wire and took it around to follow, posted it through and just bent it around the back when it was the shape I wanted it to. Seeing as this is a remake of the second video that I did, it's actually quite fiddly. Pretty though when it's done. So now we've got a wire coming up here. We're going to keep this one, which is a back wire coming up. So we're going to keep two there. We're going to keep this one and this top back wire. But these two wires here we're going to finish. So we'll turn it over and we're just going to cut these as we did for the first one. Cut them nice and small and just bend them around that um, wire in the centre to finish them off. So I've bent those around the wire that the bead goes through and you have to hold the front tight in place that you don't misshape those wires as you do that. And I've done that side too. So next we're going to take this top wire here And we're going to bend it around and then we're going to pop the three millimeter bead on there and holding that little curling place we're going to go around again So you loop around the wire again and then holding that loop in place you're going to take that wire around to the back and we're going to do that for the other side too so this wire here so you loop it around And then you take your three millimeter bead, your little one, pop it on that wire, and then holding that loop in place, we go around again. never going to be exactly the same not when you're as fussy as me and then holding that you then take that wire around to the back The wire that we just sent around the back, we're going to finish that off by cutting it and wrapping it around the weave. So you just want to pop it around the weave there. So first, I'm just going to make a little gap so I can get my wire in there. And I'm going to cut it. And using my nose pliers, I'm going to bend it around that weave, holding the wire in place the best I can. Wrap it around that weave and then press it in place with my pliers. So 
So do that for the other side too. So we're nearly finished. We've got two wires left. You can stop whenever you want to with this design. I'm just adding lots of little end finishing bits. So I'm going to bring this wire over the front and scoop it around. Now in my original design at the, um, the other video that I did, I don't attach this to anything and I just curl it. But this time I'm going to attach it to one of these um, single wires on this side just to hold it in place. So take a short length of weaving wire. And we're going to wrap around this wire. Slide it down in place. And we're just going to go around one of these other wires here. So I'm going to go around that one there. And before I forget, please mention me, Kelly Jones Design, when sharing your work online. And thank you to everybody who does. I really appreciate you guys. And please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more free tutorials. I was having a look through my videos and I thought it was time I remade some of the earlier ones. They're good designs, but the videos aren't very good because I'd only just started out. I weren't talking on the videos. Can't stop me chatting now. So there we go. So I've gone three times around the single wire, three times around two wires, and then three times around a single wire. I'll cut that now, the weaving wire at both ends. So this wire now we're going to just finish into a curl. So I'm going to cut that wire and just curl that around with round nose pliers. I'm making a mess here. So I'm going to do that with this side as well. Pull the wire over to the front. Scoop it around. So it sits next to one of those. Attach it to one of these single bare wires. And we'll finish it off in a curl as I did for the other side. So I've done that to the other end and I've put a little curl there. I haven't left myself much room for these jump rings. You can, I say jump rings because you can make this into a bracelet. This would fit lovely on a bracelet and you can attach a jump ring each side and just make, make a chain with jump rings or simple weaves. So I'm just going to add one jump ring. Which way? Which way shall I have it? I'll have it this way. So I need to add a jump ring through that top part. So depending on how your wires sit at the top, you need to add your jump ring. I've gone through the weave and that back one and I've pulled that one forward a little bit. But you can do whatever you like. I just need to oxidise this now. So there we have it, finished. I've just oxidised it. So please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching. <clears throat> Please mention me when sharing your work made online from my from one of my tutorials and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!